back to my channel in today's video i will be sharing a great room tour with you all i will be sharing the prices where it's from the measurements and all the information that you need for this room we have been living in our home for two years now and i want to say two and a half october 2024 would make three years that we have been in our home and i just want to just give a little bit of advice for anyone who is you know, getting a house built or just move, take your time. Taking your time is key in any home process. I feel like being intentional and knowing exactly what you want, having a vision and executing the vision, it's really important and taking your time. For me, I focused on one room at a time because I didn't want to become overwhelmed with just all the decisions and buying and spending money. Because one thing about me, I don't want to be house poor. So I didn't want to try to tackle this whole house at one time. So I focused on the upstairs of my home first. You can always check out my one year um, house tour. I'll link that down below for you guys so you can see the whole upstairs. But I focused on upstairs of our home first only because that's where we spent the majority of our time. We're not big on having people over or just entertaining. So I decided to do upstairs first. And then the second year I decided to do downstairs. We still have a lot to do. Um, I still want to get the front door painted in the foyer. We still have to get an in-ground pool. We still want to get our outside deck and we still need to get our basement done. And we want to get our um, closets done as well. So, oh, and also our bathroom done. We want to get our master bathroom done. So there's a lot of things that we still want to do. But I feel like with the house, the best part is taking your time and enjoying your home and enjoying life through the process of getting your home together, turning your house into a home. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and give you the great room tour. All right guys, so we are going to start this video. I'm so excited to share with you a detailed tour of the great room. Um, I will be giving you guys specific information about where it's from, how much it costs, and what size it is and all the details so if you're interested you can definitely go ahead and purchase it all right so i have my paper here just so i don't forget you know the name or the cost of anything so if you guys hear a little bit of paper just ignore it all right so starting out here this is the tree from target this is the 93 inch artificial olive tree by threshold and what I did just to elevate this tree, I added it in this beautiful planter. So back to the tree, the tree was originally $250. And I elevated it in this Ophelia. This is a crate and barrel Ophelia natural large planter, which um, the retail price was $399.20. And I just love the detailing on this planter, guys. Like, I absolutely love it. I love how it gives that, like, I feel like that rusted look. And it just add, like, some texture inside the great room. And then I went on and added some moss. This moss was from Amazon, and it's called Spanish moss. It was $4.97. really good moss. So I just want to quickly show you guys what this tree looks like without the planter. Hold on. Okay, so this is what the tree looks like without this planter. This is the same exact tree. And I just want to show you this is definitely a hack where you can buy a tree from Amazon or anywhere you want to purchase a tree from and always elevate it to give it a more um, expensive luxury look. And it looks so good in here. And I decided to go with a larger planter because of how how the ceilings are. This is 20 feet ceilings and then how spacious this room is. So that's what kind of made me decide to go with a larger planter. 
All right, moving over here to our coffee table. This is the sister to the planter. This is the Ophelia Natural Ceramic Bowl. If my camera focuses. Okay. And if you can see, it looks exactly the same. Um, this bowl retailed for... $99.95. And then you guys know I love moss. So I decided to add the moss balls, which was from Amazon. And they were $17. I did purchase a three pack, but I only used two packs in here. Okay, moving on to my RH, my restoration hardware coffee table. When I tell you guys, I absolutely love this coffee table. They have, I think, four sizes. So depending on your space, you definitely want to measure because this coffee table is pretty big. But I decided to go with um, this coffee table. This is the black oak, and this is 67 by 43. Depending on if you are a member or not, the price will be different. So if you're a member, it's $1,995. And if you're not a member, you're looking at $2,660. And I love how it have this underneath part to it. So you can style this as well if you really wanted to. But I just wanted to just style this, the top part. Okay, moving on to this coffee table. This is from Restoration Hardware as well, and this is uh, Black Oak. I did get this from the Restoration Hardware outlet. I really lucked up, guys, because I wanted the 24-inch, and these are the 24-inch. Um, they, they have two sizes. The 24-inch is the biggest size you can get. I think they have a 20-inch, if I'm not mistaken. But I think I purchased, like, I think this was like $300 or $400 at the outlet. I purchased two of them. But the retail price on RH website um, is $805 if you're a member. And if you're not a member, you're looking at $1,075. Okay, so moving on to the lamp. This is a table lamp. This is from Restoration Hardware as well. I absolutely love the detailings on this lamp. I have the same lamp in my bedroom. That's what kind of made me get this lamp because I absolutely love the one in my bedroom. I have it in gold. But... um. I really love this lamp. So this lamp retail price is $495. And that's if you're a member. If you're not a member, you're looking at $660. And when I tell you the quality is so good, this is a nice heavy lamp. The kids play in here all the time and it's not easily to get knocked down. Um, also, just to let you know, if you ever do purchase a table lamp from RH, you do need to uh, buy the lampshade. Now, this lampshade, I did get the French drum linen shade, and this is size F. And I did the white linen and frosted linen. So this is the way it looks, if you guys can see. This is how it looks with those two combined. Okay, so moving on to the sofa. So here's one sofa, and then here's the other sofa. I decided to go with the Gather Grande Bench, and this is deep. So if you guys can see, deep makes it a little longer. Let me move this out the way. Here. Deep makes it a little longer, so you have more space when you're sitting on the couch. So that's, I just, I tell anybody to go with deep. I feel like deep is definitely a good idea to go with, especially if you have the space in your home. So we went with deep and we went with the bench part. If you guys don't know what the bench part is, is basically the top of the cushion where it does not have the splits. I feel like this gave it a more elegant look, a luxury look. So we decided to not go with the dents. And I had this since August. I can definitely say it, held, it holds up really well. Um, this is performance fabric and this price was hold on guys this price for each sofa was two thousand two hundred and forty nine dollars and again this performance fabric the kids is in here all the time and sometimes i just use folex because i'm not gonna lie stuff do get on here but it comes right out so like for this if you guys can see like i would just get this out with the folex it comes right out so yes
And then we decided to just stick with the same accent chairs just because um, I got shared with you all before in the beginning of the video. Our style is more of like a contemporary, clean line, elegant luxury. So we kind of, we didn't want too much of like different textures or pattern. We kind of wanted everything to kind of look the same um, and just go for a minimal look. So we did go with the swivel chairs. The swivel chairs price was 149, 100, no, I'm sorry. Mm. The swivel chairs price was $1,149 and it swivels like it, it swivels like all the way. <laughs> so it's really good, especially for anyone who, you know, want to enjoy doing a little swivel. Also this little martini table, this is from Restoration Hardware. And this was $345, it's 10 inches. They do have different sizes, but this is perfect because I didn't want nothing that's too big. And this is, can be for our, like our little drinks whenever we're watching a movie. All right, so these accent pillows are my spring and summer pillows that I'll be adding that you guys have seen that I added to the great room. Um, I absolutely love them. This is from Hackner Home. I think this ran me about $272 for four covers. It did not come with the inserts. I purchased the inserts through Amazon, but I really love them. I really, really love them. It's such good quality, like really good quality. And I love the color. It's like a nice spring color. All right, and then coming from our curtains i get asked about these a lot these are from a local shop here in pennsylvania um they are russian i don't really know the name of the company but they did an excellent job and they're custom but i just want to show you it's so we decided to go with a like oatmeal we wanted something to kind of flow with the fireplace and not really match the wall so um, this is because we wanted contrast. So if you guys can see the wall and then this oatmeal color, I just love it. It looks so beautiful. And then we went with blinds. It was either blinds to go or I'm not really sure, guys, but these are motorized. So let me just show you real quick. Okay, so these are motorized and they go all the way up. I'm not going to go all the way up because then you can see my neighbor house, but I absolutely love these. And I totally, I don't, I was trying to look for the email with these. I can't find it, but yes, I absolutely love these um, automatic shakes. You can actually get them from Amazon. They have them on Amazon, but we have them on the top window too. So that's why we decided to go ahead and go with a company, but definitely go on Amazon because it's a lot cheaper. Okay. So this artwork is from Restoration Hardware. I did get this from the outlet. I want to say it was around $2,500 to $3,000. I Don't quote me on it. I can't find my receipt. Um, but I absolutely love it. And I do not regret the price at all. <laughs> I absolutely love this piece of art. So, yeah. All right. And last but not least, here is our chandelier, the star of the great room. I absolutely love how simple this is. Um, it's just a statement piece. This is from Restoration Hardware. This is the 60-inch Revel chandelier. This price was about $4,000 and something dollars. But if you add like taxes and all that other stuff, it, it was a little pricey. Um, but you can find dupes, guys. They have a lot of dupes of these. So you definitely can find dupes if you're really interested in this. I'm going to go up here so you guys can see it from above. Okay, so this is what it looks like up top. And we could have brung it down a little bit more, but I wanted, when you're on the catwalk, I wanted this to be eye level. I didn't want you to look down at the chandelier. So um, I love the height of it. But yeah, absolutely love it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this final video. Everyone kept asking me, when are you going to do the room tour for the great room? So I'm like, you know what? Let me actually do it. The next video, I will be doing the foyer. Um, but this, when we come back from our trip, we will be getting the front door painted. So I'm trying to debate, do I want to do, I probably will do the reveal of the foyer or the, not the reveal, the tour of the foyer once this door is painted because then it's really completed so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next video
Thank you.